My horse has been diagnosed with pain and arthritis of the SI joints. She's starting them on Equiox. She was just curious if taping the joints would actually provide any relief. Does taping work for pain or is it total nonsense? Good <laughs> question, Dana. Yes, it's right to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't feel comfortable answering this, so I asked our good friend and consultant, Dr. Andy Andy. Kamitz, oh, Andy. And he signed he signed the email and he got back to me. Uh, Andy Canib's DVM, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so he he is a PhD. He's a diplomat of the American College of Veterinary Surgeons, and he's a new diplomat of the American College of Veterinary Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation. So see why I asked him yeah. this question. Okay. He's also a friend of Asavet. We've done a couple episodes with him, so yep. he's yep. got some great resources. Um, I wanted to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So you, she asked about SI, so that's sacroiliac. Yes. So that's yes. the joint in, the, in the, the pelvis, like behind the back and the hips. And then um, there's something else she said I want to make sure that we... She's starting with Equiox. Oh, Equiox. Yep. So that's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. It's Firacoxib. In, it came out first in dogs as Prevacox, yes. and then they really said as um, they relabeled it as uh, Equiox in horses. And I talked to a tech services vet from that company, and they pronounced it Equiox, oh. like equine. So I'm equiox. like Equiox. Maybe that, it's, that makes more sense. <laughs> I don't know. It does kind of. It's but it sounds Equiox sounds better. Anyway, <laughs> this is what Dr. Canop said. Kinesio taping was introduced for treatment of people in 1979. Okay. I didn't realize. In the last few years, taping techniques and equine-specific tapes have been introduced. Mm -hmm. Have you seen them? I have seen okay. them. Uh, kinesio taping is thought to act on skin fascia, which is the connective tissue around muscles, muscles themselves, joints, and the lymphatic system. It can be used to activate or inhibit muscle activity depending on how much stretch is applied during the application. Oh. Have you seen them put on? I have not seen them put on. Okay. When I went to the NRHA Derby a few years ago for Smart Pack, it seemed to be a lot of people were doing yeah. the taping. You should try to watch a, yeah. a session, it's pretty cool. Uh, tape application is also thought to stimulate pain receptors, possibly reducing the sensation of pain. There are few, unfortunately, there are few research studies that objectively evaluate the effects of taping in horses. Wah, wah. No. <laughs> uh, in a study conducted in Austria, the effects of taping on horse muscle was evaluated. No differences oh. in muscle activity or limb motion were found when taped and untaped, so mm. treatment and control were evaluated. The researchers were well trained in the use of kinesio taping in both humans and horses, so they're very adept at the techniques. Um, and we can put that study up on the screen too so people can read it themselves. So um, researchers have not reported on the effects of kinesio taping for controlling pain in horses. Okay. This study was, does it affect movement? Yes. Okay. There are other methods, there's the good news, of treating sacroiliac discomfort. So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as what she started, mm -hmm. a good choice for treatment. Another method is to inject the SI joints with anti-inflammatory medication. Pain in the SI region may also be reduced with laser therapy or shockwave therapy. Uh, improving core strength and flexibility with specific exercises. Seems to be the answer for everything. Wonder whose book that would be, Dr. Hillary Clayton, um, are also valuable for treating and preventing SI and back soreness. Interesting. Okay, so she sounds like she's off to a great start with the Equiox. Sounds like she's probably working with her vet if she it does. has that yeah, prescription. Because it's a prescription, right? Yes. So off to that taping, it doesn't sound like. Well, just because one study from Austria mm -hmm. um, says that they. That one study could not find difference between in movement mm -hmm. between taped and untaped does not mean it doesn't work. So it just means there needs to be more studies. And he specifically pointed out there's not been a study to date on its influence on pain. So it could almost go back to your earlier point where you kind of you have to read your horse, and if it's something you do and your horse seems to be improving by if it, if your horse likes it, do maybe it. Maybe it's something you keep. There's on a doing. lot of therapies that I do on my horse mm -hmm. that have no proof. But he likes it, so I do it. I feel like he's your own little research study. <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, Dana, if you do try the taping, let us know how it works out for you and your horse. Yeah. Send us a picture. We, that's pretty cool looking stuff. Yeah. So, some absolutely. horse, and the tape is very bright, right? bright, bright yellow, bright blue, bright pink. Well, you have to make it fun. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it, yeah, send us a picture.